Well, good morning, everyone. Thomas Montgomery here. We get together most weekday mornings, talk about strategies, tips, techniques, share success stories, and support each of you. Today is specifically Wednesday, July 24th, 2024, and we're going to continue our discussion, but with some new content today, about the four-week business funding program. If you have been out spreading the word and, and educating and building financial literacy about this new grant subsidized resource, I suspect you're getting the same type of feedback that I am, that it is exactly what the marketplace wants. Now, is it, well, it's definitely what they need. Is it what they want or not? So let's, let's reverse that. Because what you and I know is that there's almost an unlimited number of entrepreneurs, small business owners, people, that either have a small business or that want to start a small business, but they lack the capital to start, to grow, or to reach their potential. So the problem that you and I are solving is access to capital. However, it is too simplistic. It's, it's inaccurate to think, oh, someone that does not have a fundable business can just get funding. It doesn't work that way. So in truth, what entrepreneurs should be seeking is to have a fundable business. And then if you do have a fundable business, then we can get funding. But they're not always thinking like that. They just say, I just need money. I need money. Well, you don't just get money. You need to qualify for it first. So what you and I do as affiliates is we go out and, and we educate and then we assist so they do qualify for the capital that they want. The four-week business funding program on fourweekfunding.com, I think you're familiar with, so I won't spend a lot of time, but it's, it's broken down into four specific subject matters, and we address one per week over four weeks. In the first week, we create a business plan. Is a business plan really important? Absolutely. It's essential. It helps the entrepreneur flush through their ideas to figure out what is their business going to do? Who's their target market going to be? How much capital do they need? What are they going to use it for? And so forth. And then also in week one, we help them obtain seed capital if they need some initial funding, even before the business is fundable, which happens after week four. Week two, we set up the entity and we set it up correctly so it's fundable. At no cost, we provide them a business address, a unique commercial address. If you don't know why that's important, just let us know. And I should say, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just type it into the Q&A box, question and answer box. It's like a chat box in Zoom. So we, we've got our plan and we've got some initial funding. So now we're going to go create the business. But before we create the business, we want to have a good address which we provide for free. We, we provide the business plan for free too, by the way. And then we go file with the Secretary of State. So now we have our plan in place from week one. From week two, we have the entity set up. Now we're ready to build out the entity so it can seek funding. So that takes us to week three. What we know is that a lot of these small business owners, even if they have an existing business, they typically don't have the collateral necessary to qualify for the funding. So we transfer over the collateral to the client to put on their balance sheet. Then week four, we do the packaging. So it's a four week process where they're working with an advisor for, for coaching and assistance and it, it's outstanding. But I, I think you all know enough about that. And if you're not familiar with the program itself, please go back and visit fourweekfunding.com. There's a little training video here. Today, I want to speak to those of you who are, are I can uh, find my link here, who are our affiliates. So as you may know, we have an affiliate program. Well, why is that relevant? Why is that important? It's important for several reasons. Affiliates are able to get paid by referring people in, so that creates an income stream to them, which we'll come back to the relevance of that in a moment. And then secondly, it helps us reach more people, creates more awareness. Now, if we have a small business, 
having cash flow as soon as possible increases our borrowing capacity. So we see over half of our clients, half of the participants that are going through the curriculum to raise capital also become an affiliate because now we can start those daily deposits going into their accounts. So that way they show that they have solvency, they have a good bank rating, their, their loan package down here in week four looks stronger. But with that being said, our, our topic is how to generate leads. So I wanted to introduce or reintroduce what we do so you can see how valuable it is. And then, of course, after we get through the four weeks, then we go for funding. So we're, we're clear on the what it is that we do. Let's talk about generating leads and I'll unfold the agenda here a little bit as we go. The first thing that we have to determine before we look for leads is what are we promoting? Because most of you now have two landing pages. You have the free funding proposal landing page, and then most of you now have the four-week business funding program landing page. Either way, it's linked to you. Either way, it collects the same four pieces of information, but these are two different campaigns that you could take to the marketplace. You could go out and target individuals that are looking for funding, not necessarily be bogged down with what it takes to be fundable, but just simply go to the marketplace and, and offer a free funding proposal. And, and we'll definitely do that. From that free funding proposal, they're gonna fill out an application, no hard inquiries, but frankly, that application will do a great job of pre-qualifying who does not have a fundable business because it asks questions about do you, what type of business address do you have? Is it a unique commercial address? Do you have an entity that's in good standing and so forth? So one option would be to go out with the free funding proposal pitch, if you will. And it's not bait and switch, it's true. So we could start with it, they apply, we see what qualifications they have for funding initially. And if it's not as much as they want, then we can certainly then pivot over here and introduce them to the four-week funding program. Conversely, we could go out with the four-week business funding program as our campaign. We can let them know that we have a four-week curriculum that's grant subsidized and help them have a fundable business in less than 30 days. So hopefully you can see that there's two different ways to go to the market. These two pieces complement each other, right? Because the free funding proposal that we mentioned here is actually embedded here if they want seed capital, and it's embedded here if they want funding. So it's actually involved in step one and what we'd call, I guess, step five if they want funding after the packaging. So it works really well. You, you have a lot of flexibility in terms of, do you wanna lead with something free that's maybe easier to do for many of you where the, the client doesn't have to pay anything up front, Or you could lead with this value proposition where they do pay up front, but there's great value and great reason. So if there's any questions on that, let me know. But I wanted to clarify so you could lead with either of those two. Let me bring back up my agenda here. So that's the point. Which type of lead are you looking for if the question is how to generate leads? I guess that should be a question mark, shouldn't it? Okay, so are we all clear on the two different campaigns? We could go to the marketplace offering a free funding proposal, and from that, we'll probably find people that need the funding program, or we can go to the market promoting the free for, uh, the four-week business funding program and then probably find people that want funding. Make sense? So we could go with either or. So we need to make sure that you're familiar with your landing pages, and I've briefly shown you both. All of you should have two landing pages now, or if all you're wanting to do is to go to the marketplace with the free funding proposal, then I guess you wouldn't need the, the second landing page, but the landing pages are free. So with that, then we need leads, and that really comes back to our topic. 
And so sometimes I talk to prospective affiliates and, and they're just deathly worried about where am I going to find someone that wants money? Where am I going to find someone that wants to qualify for business funding? Not that difficult, but not everyone has that, I guess you'd say, hunter mentality to go out and prospect. So I'll show you what has worked amazingly well for us. And I've mentioned this before, but I think that I haven't, and it's it's right here. I, I don't think I've emphasized it enough because as I followed up talking to many of you, it seems like you're not doing this. And it's crazy. It's It's insane. It's illogical for you to not use Google ads to drive people to your landing page. Well, I think part of the problem was we can talk about it, but it, it just, it doesn't make a lot of sense to some of you where it's like, oh, I don't really know what Google ads is. I, I can understand I'm advertising on Google, but I don't know. So let's go ahead and bring up the Google ads page. So if you go to ads.google.com, it will bring up this page. And it will educate you some on how Google Ads works. And they even have some promotions where they'll give you $500, a thousand, or $1,500. I think I've told most of you that we've perfected this enough. We've been able to run an ad for one day, a 24 hour period. And from that, we had 1,300 and some impressions, in other words, exposures. And we had 136 enrollments in one day. How much did we spend? We spent $33, $34 in ad spend. So it, it's not that pricey. Now, I appreciate new things can be complicated and we all have enough to do with in, in, in our lives. So let's say that you have this Google ads and, and you like the concept and you want the results, but you don't really want to figure it out yourself. Well, on ads.google.com, See this button? Start with an expert. And frankly, that's what we did. I don't know how to do this. They gave me a guy. He's, I think, from Philippines or some third world country, smart as can be, and he set it up for me. And you know how much he charged to set it up for me? Zero dollars. He's paid by Google. So if you go to ads.google.com, so let's go back to where we were, and just click on start with an expert, they will provide you an expert, or at least they did for me. And I believe that to be the case. And so say, so, well, how am I going to get a hold of an expert? Well, you could chat, you could book your call or you could call them. I, I booked a call because I wanted to know when the conversation was going to be. Now, here's the truth. I ended up being busy when I had the call scheduled. And so then I, I emailed back apologized and rescheduled it the same day and we had it within within an hour we had the ad campaign up and going so let's go back if you're needing if you are an affiliate it, well if you're not an affiliate i strongly encourage you to become one because a lot of people need this and they don't know about it you can help them and you can get paid if you are an affiliate obviously you need leads and there's all different ways to generate leads. I'm not here to list one through a million, but I think you're crazy. You, you'd have to give me a really good reason, new information, why you wouldn't be using Google ads, especially when they'll give you free, excellent support to set up your ads and get it running in less than 24 hours. And no, I don't think price is going to be an issue because you can determine what your daily budget is. You're, you're buying ads that they're putting in front of the right people, right? Based upon people that need what you and I do. And so you're going to, the end goal is to drive them to your landing page. But again, as I mentioned, you're going to have to decide which campaign is it that you're wanting to leverage. Are you wanting to drive people in? for the four-week program, then that's the information that you would use, such as, you know, free, because they're going to ask you to come up with, with key words, and they'll help you, and they have artificial intelligence that's built in. So pretty much any content that you would need, you could go to fourweekfunding.com and just copy and paste paragraphs in when, when you have your expert helping you, and then when you put in the paragraphs of information, 
Google's AI will turn that into the keywords that you need, and they'll drive a crazy number of people to your landing page. So if it's the four-week funding, then, of course, these keywords would be relevant. If you're wanting to drive them for a free funding proposal, you'd probably start with uh, that paragraph. But who has questions on Google ads? I'm not paid by Google ads. I don't get kickbacks from Google ads. But I don't understand why more of you are not at least chatting with a Google ads expert for free to understand how this can drive in literally 100 deals a day. And I know that sounds crazy, but give it a try. That's what we had. We had 130, 136 signups on one day. So, and, and I can't promise the same for you, but but even if you had one sign up a day, wouldn't that be crazy good? So I, I'm looking for feedback. Annette, just shoot me straight on the Q&A. Annette, why are you not using Google ads to drive people to your landing page? Bernard Sin, you're a great guy. You and I talked yesterday a little bit about this. Bernard, specifically, if you could type, I want everyone to type into the Q&A I guess what your excuse or what your reason is, if you're an affiliate, why you're not using Google ads to drive people to your landing page? Because I don't understand it. It's like instant ROI. It's crazy cheap. You control the budget. So I'm looking for all of you to, to interface. Gilbert, what's your reason for not using Google ads? Eric, what's your reason? DeAndre, Daryl? Uh, Daritha, Greg, we, we have 324 of you on, so I don't want to have to say everyone's name, but I'm looking for your feedback. Yeah, and, and, and Bernard said he just wasn't familiar with it. I wasn't either, and, and one of their experts approached me. I don't know why uh, they contacted me, and I was kind of hesitant because, again, I think I'm like a lot of you. I appreciate these things, but I don't know enough to do it. And I don't even know enough to tell you how to do it. But guess what? I don't need to know how to tell you to do it. They have fucking experts that are experts at it that'll do it for free. They must be paid by Google, right? Otherwise. All right. Uh, Roxana says she doesn't have a landing page. Well, that is not good, Roxana. So if you don't have a landing page, you need to call us and you need to get that resolved. So let me pull that back up. And let me put our phone number on here. So anyone that does not have a landing page, shame on us. So Roxana's got the, the best excuse so far. She doesn't have a landing page to drive them to. Well, okay, I, I would agree with that. So you need to call us, Roxana, after the Zoom, and we need to figure out why the heck you do not have a landing page. Uh, Toby says he doesn't have one. Okay, so anyone that needs one, I, I'm not ability i don't have the ability to multitask enough to take a lot of notes while I'm, I'm doing this discussion so call us if you don't have a landing page but my goodness it it, it works it works and i think what makes it work is that google is really smart and that's why they're billion dollar companies and so they know who their users are and then they know when a user is searching. So they're going to use keywords, right? There's no mystery to it. But let's say someone is searching for business funding, then it could drive them to your landing page. Let's say that someone is looking for a business plan. They could drive them to your landing page. Someone's looking for a business address. So what happens is the Google expert will walk through it with you figure out keywords, and then they'll map it out however they do it to drive people. And then as far as the ads, and again, you, you can tell I don't know a lot about this. I'm not pretending to. The, the package that we did was called Performance Max. And I think that's a fancy way of saying that they market it on different platforms. They market it on YouTube. They market it through Gmail, and I actually don't know what these other things are. But anyway, the, the guy pitched me Performance Max, and it was still within my budget of $20 a day, and there it went. Now, one interesting thing is I set up a budget of $20 a day. That's the truth. 
When I tell you that it cost us $33, $34 for that 24-hour period, that's the truth. It doesn't add up. So if you are money sensitive, you're going to want to talk with your expert and say, hey, how do I set up a budget and make sure we stick to the budget? Because they went, oh, I don't mind paying an extra $13, $14. It's not a problem, but it doesn't quite add up. How did I have a budget of $20 and how did I spend $33, $34? So I, I still don't know the answer to why the budget didn't stick. But essentially, I do know you can go in and pause it at any time. And I was just so freaking excited. about. It. I ran it on a Saturday. And so I'm at the mall with my family and, and they were kind of annoyed, but I kept hitting a refresh, refresh and looking at all these exposures and all these enrollments. And but at any time through Google Ads, you can hit pause. So let's say you have as many leads as you can handle today. Hit pause and work those 10 or 20 leads and then unpause it the next day. That's the beautiful thing about it. To the best of my knowledge, you don't have to commit to long term and you can pause it and start it whenever you want. All right, Daryl's asking, how does one get paid for referrals only? Well, as an affiliate, you're paid five points. Oh, wrong landing page. Daryl, you're paid five points, 5% 5 of each client's capital raise. So when they come through for a free funding proposal, they're guaranteed a minimum of 100000 So if you're getting 5% of that, then, of course, you're getting at least 5000 for each person you refer in. That goes to the funding program. Plus, you can do the, the four-week funding. So you can be paid off of both. It's up to you. Affiliates can do either of these, or you could do both. And so the four-week business funding program, which is the, the web page we started with, is nice because it puts money in your pocket immediately. So the funding pays out five points off the funding, which we've talked about. This pays you immediately when they enroll. So that's why some of you are focused more on driving people into this because this gets you money immediately. And if for some reason they don't close on this, then you could turn around and pitch them the funding proposal. So the two complement each other for the reasons I mentioned. This is really building the loan package and getting the business fundable. And then that interface is both in week one and then I guess what we call week five with funding. So the two complement each other. Hopefully that makes sense. But again, what I would encourage all of you to do is just simply go to ads.google.com. And so if we go back to the main page and then scroll down, where did we see that? I guess we missed it somewhere. Oh, here it is. Yeah, at the top. So go from start now to start with an expert. I wouldn't recommend trying to do it on your own because there's a bunch of, of forms and fields that have to be filled out that what will happen, at least what happened with my Google expert, some guy's name I can't even pronounce, but he had um, he works for Google, so he's credible. And uh, he asked me permission to see my screen. So he sent a little link over. So he was able to see my screen. So I was in Google ads and he walked me through it. So he had me set up everything, but he literally was watching my screen and say, no, no, no. Yeah, do that, this, that. And, and it was great. That took about an hour of time. So it wasn't, uh, it wasn't immediate, but my goodness, it's great. All right. Uh, let's see. Michael asks, how does someone get paid after a referral from a loan broker after the four-week program? Well, so how we're paid as affiliates is dependent upon the trigger, or what's called the conversion. If someone enrolls in the four-week business funding program, they're paying $1,000 for this, right? They're paying $1,000. Now, it's refundable, but they're paying $1,000 refundable deposit. Of that, you're getting paid immediately. So that's the simple answer to that. And then, Michael, as I think we've already covered a couple times, on the funding proposal side, you're paid 5.5% after every tranche, every round of capital. So theoretically, they should have two rounds. Here we go, two rounds of funding. They should have the first round here, and then they would have the second round after we have the business set up. This is usually a smaller one because this is based on their baseline. 
And then now this will be the larger one based upon having a fundable business. So who else has questions? So again, if you're needing a landing page, uh, shame on me for missing that, but just go ahead and call us after the Zoom and we'll get that taken care of. If you're set up as an affiliate, you should have a free landing page. If you're not set up as an affiliate, you wouldn't have a free landing page. So that may be the issue we need to, to figure out. All right, uh, Jeff's asking, do we have to use Google Ads? No, I mean, you, you don't have to do anything, I guess, in life. But no, Google Ads just is an unbelievable way to drive massive volume to your landing page. But no, you, you don't you don't have to use Google Ads. You know, some of you like beating the street. Some of you are using Craigslist. Some of you are using Facebook marketing. Some of you are, are teaching at churches and chambers about what it means to have a fundable business. That's fine. It, it's up to you. But if you're not at least including Google ads in your outreach campaign, I frankly think it's a mistake because you can't beat it. And again, we've brought this up before, but just not maybe direct enough. All right, Harold asked, does this replace what we talked about Facebook marketing? No, we have a lot of success on Facebook marketing, and we actually have internal resources to do that. We've not found a third party that could do it better or cheaper than what we can. So with Facebook marketing, it's a little bit different. We need to set up a business page within Facebook, so that takes a little bit more effort. And then we need to have good ads, figure out the right target words, and then drive them. So Facebook is good, too. I mean, if I were recommending you to set up a lead generation campaign, I'd have two or three different strategies. Google ads would be one of them. Facebook would be another. And then anything else that you wanted to do. All right. So Toby's wanting to know the difference between the four-week program and the funding proposal. Well, simply put, the four-week program does these things that's discussed here that we've discussed before, and you can go back and read four-week funding. We've talked a little bit about today, and there's a training video. So it, it's building a fundable business. The funding proposal is the getting the funding part. So it's, it's two sides to, um, to, to the equation. And so clients can do one or the other or bo do both. But the funding proposal is we're actually going and getting them funding offers. It's a simple one-page app. The first, uh, the top of the page is business information if they have it. And then the, the uh, bottom is uh, key person individual information. All right, so let me put this back up. But, but I, I guess maybe what's not clear that I should close on, the reason people would want to go through the four-week funding program is to have a fundable business. Because what does it take to have a fundable business? Well, you almost have a checklist here. You need to have a business plan. Well, we provide that. You need to have some working capital so you're not insolvent. We provide that. You need to have a unique business address. We provide that. You need to be filed with the Secretary of State and with the IRS and be in good standing. We provide that. We need to have collateral for the loan. We provide that. We need to have good packaging where all the paperwork, the, the balance sheet, the profit and loss, everything is put together and ready to for submission. We do that. So this gets a business ready for funding. What you'll probably see, Toby, is some people don't know what you know, and they just think, no, I just want funding. I, I want to skip all of this, right? This is a distraction to me. Well, you're not going to get approved for business funding. You better stick with personal loans otherwise, because business lenders are looking for fundable businesses, and these are the key characteristics. All right, last question, then we'll go. Uh, Michael asked, are clients obligated afterwards? No, absolutely not. So th that's why we have it set up this way. So clients can go through the four-week curriculum, and then they're done. If they want, and that's why the word optional is here, Michael, then we can go ahead and take them to funding, but they're not required. The reason that we separate it, because you might say, well, why would anyone want to get fundable if they didn't want to go to funding? Well, maybe they don't want to go to funding with us, or maybe they were referred to us by a loan broker or by a bank, 
that ask us to get the client fundable and then get them back so they can do the funding. So we've separated it into two pieces now, the, the, the fundability building versus the funding, two different pieces. Clients can start with either one, they can do one, they can do both, or of course they can do neither. But if a client wants funding, you're, you're right. I mean, just go ahead and have them fill out, sorry, you can have them fill out your funding proposal. That's fine. So we can know upfront costs. Let's go see what you qualify for. If it meets your needs, great. If not, oh, by the way, we have a resource that could help you. So you're, you're right, I think, Michael, and what you're insinuating is you may just want to drive everyone in for a funding proposal and those that don't get as much funding as they want, then that opens up the discussion to help them become fundable. That's a smart strategy. And, and Michael's right. You're going to cast a wider net when you're going to the marketplace offering something that's free. So that's that's a good strategy. All right. Well, we covered a lot. Hopefully that's helpful. And hopefully I, I ask, I pray that you'll go to Google ads and talk to an expert. Make sure you have your landing page first because the, the, they're going to ask you, what's your goal? Right. That's the first thing the Google experts ads going to ask you, what's your goal? And Michael or Toby or Daryl or whomever would say, my goal is to drive people to my landing page. And you can decide which landing page you want to drive them to. So that's the goal. So everything that they're going to do has that purpose. Now, I know you want them to fill out your landing page and you want them to sign up and you make money. But as far as the, the activities that you're you're for the lead generation, it's to drive them to the landing page. Because if they don't come to your landing page, then nothing else happens. You don't make money. Hopefully that makes sense. Let us know if there's anything we can do. And for those of you that do not have a landing page, we need to resolve that ASAP. How in the world are you going to help people? How in the world are you going to make money if you don't have a, an ability to have a call to action? All right. Thanks, everyone. Talk to you soon. Bye.